Following the recent hikes in food prices, the General Secretary of the Agric Workers Union, Edward Carraway, has revealed that government hasn't yet started providing trucks to convey food stuffs from the rural areas to the urban areas. According to him, the union does not even believe that this is the right move to curb food prices in the urban areas. He is therefore calling on government to sack the Agric Minister in order to transform the sector and bring food prices down. No, it hasn't started. No one has seen anything happening. The minister is still emphasizing that it will, uh, it will happen, and we are seeing no. In fact, if it has happened and we are not aware, then it means that it has not happened because we need to experience the effect. And if it has happened and there is effect, the minister would not have kept quiet. The government would not have kept quiet about it because government would have come out to try to trumpet their uh, achievement. So for me, if it has happened, it means that it has been a disaster, and we cannot allow it to continue because the minister is even still saying that he will do it and that must be stopped well i think that government must do immediate things one call for a national conversation of stakeholders on the future of agriculture in ghana and in that particular conversation or dialogue they will bring out the magnitude of challenges that face the planning for food and jobs program and then uh, we will also offer appropriate solutions to deal with them. Then two, the government, that is the president, must accept and the minister must accept that the plan for food and jobs has failed and that Ghana is in a very serious uh, food security crisis. I'm saying this because if you look at the State of the Nation address delivered by the president around March thereabout, it was stated that Ghana is self-sufficient in food production and that uh, we need to disabuse our mind from it to say that, look, we are in food crisis, we are not food secured, and that realization might come. Then the third thing is that the current leadership, which have le led us in the agricultural production to this serious crisis, must leave. The president must sack the minister and bring fresh ideas. Because where they have reached, they are not listening to anybody, and they have lost the trust of stakeholders. And um, if we have to transform agriculture beyond what we have now, and to become food secured, they cannot lead us in that transformation because there have been those who have created uh, the current uh, crisis.